What's up, YouTube? Bud Bros, stoners all over the world. What's going on today? It's April 1st. You know, it's April Fool's Day. But I ain't gonna fool y'all. Not today. Not, not in this video. Maybe another one. It's a beautiful day out. I got these two beautiful strains right here. I got my Kush. I got the granddaddy purple right here. And we're gonna get stony with it. Let me give you guys a good look at what we got right here. Start off with the Kush. Very iced out. Love that, you know. And this is the granddaddy. Now I love the granddaddy. The granddaddy has such a unique taste. It's great. It's very purple looking. You know. Well, mixed it by accident. I got some of my granddaddy crushed up. So we'll start with that. That and my beautiful hops. My favorite bubbler right here. Fully worked. Inline hops bubbler. I got the fume down stem. Fume stem. Uh, clear bowl. It's fully worked all the way around. You know, it has a honeycomb. Just for appearances. It's a really beautiful piece. Shout out to Hops. He be blowing some shit. You know. I don't know when it comes to inline, you know, you gotta stick to Hops, man. No one does it like Hops do. So let's pack this up. Let's turn on the glow rod right here. Got my torch. I got my heat rod. So let's set it up like that. A little bit of this crushed herb right here. Now I like to use a grinder. A lot of people tell me, you know, crush up with your hands, you're losing a lot of crystals. Well, that's not really true because I'm collecting them crystals and I dump it on top of my herb. And when you crush your herb, man, it's when you taste it. When you use your hands and you have those big buds, you don't really get the full flavor out of your herb, you know? So I recommend a grinder no matter what. You know, in fact, the better the herb, use a grinder. Unless it's really stringy herb or really fluffy, you use a scissor. But don't use your hands. So let's get least over it. Let me refocus the camera so you guys can see this look good. This autofocus is pissing me off. Listo, motherfuckers. I don't know, it's a very nice way to start the day. This <coughs> bubbler is very smooth, you know. I love it. I love it. It's pretty much dragless. And after trying this bubbler, I'm very compelled to get a Hops Ash Catcher. <coughs> Because, uh, by the way, I'm crushing the Kush right now. Piece of the Kush. The 
because the hops, it's so dragless, you don't feel any drag through it, that on the ash catcher, I would, I would assume that it would feel like I don't even have any ash catcher on there. Now, talk about functionality. So, props to hops, that kind of rhymes. Blowing them beautiful pieces, them inlines. You know, change the glass game. He will better recognize. <coughs> this is my Lux. Triple chamber, they call it, but it got two perks. Splash guard. Got diffuser. I put my 18 millimeter down stem in there. 18 millimeter pole. Got the ice notches, you know, store the ice. I like this bongo lot too, it's very smooth, very nice. So, let's put the cush up in this motherfucker. Nice hit right there. I don't know, I got a bad habit, I leave my torch on throughout my whole session like that, I waste a lot of gas, honestly, I use about a can every three days, but I also smoke a lot, so, I don't know, I'd recommend a Heiku, or however you pronounce it, work a lot better than this shit, but still give you full flavor hit, you know what I'm saying, it's better than flame, so, I'm all for it. Please go stoners. Fresh to clean bomb. It was a hit out of a brand new bomb. 